Four mysterious lights appear in an asymmetrical V formation in the sky above the airfield to the right of some power plant smokestacks. The lights don't seem to resemble distinct geometric shapes, but instead resemble rough blobs of illumination. Throughout history, extraordinary events have unfolded that defy explanation, <laughs> leaving behind a trail of evidence and intrigue. Countless accounts of UFO sightings have captivated both believers and skeptics alike. Today, we'll explore a selection of compelling photographs and encounters that challenge our understanding of the universe. From the breathtaking Phoenix Lights to the mysterious Roswell incident, each of these enigmatic occurrences invites us to question our perceptions of reality. Get ready as we navigate the unknown and explore the possibility of extraterrestrial life. Let's get started. Number 15, the Phoenix Lights. On March 13, 1997, the skies over Phoenix, Arizona, were illuminated by a breathtaking and puzzling display of lights, captivating thousands of residents and sparking a mystery that endures to this day. Witnesses described seeing an enormous, silent V-shaped formation of lights stretching up to a mile wide as it glided across the night sky. Known as the Phoenix Lights, it remains one of the most widely witnessed and documented UFO sightings in history. The event unfolded in two phases. First, a triangular formation of lights drifted overhead, followed by a series of stationary lights hovering over the Phoenix area. Initially, government and military officials remained silent, fueling public speculation and anxiety. Later, the Air Force explained that the stationary lights were flares dropped by A-10 Warthog aircraft during a training exercise. However, many witnesses found this explanation unconvincing especially those who had observed the massive, silent craft earlier that evening. The Phoenix Lights have been thoroughly analyzed in documentaries and independent investigations. Critics of the official explanation emphasize the large number of credible eyewitnesses, including pilots, police officers, and military personnel, as evidence of something extraordinary. This incident continues to provoke discussions on government transparency, the possibility of extraterrestrial life, and the mysteries that remain beyond human understanding. Number 14, Roswell Incident. In the summer of 1947, a remarkable event near Roswell, New Mexico, became a cornerstone of UFO lore, sparking conspiracy theories that persist to this day. It all began when rancher William Ware Brazell discovered strange debris scattered across his property. The materials were unlike anything familiar, sparking curiosity and speculation. Soon after the military intervened, with the Roswell Army Airfield initially announcing that a flying disc had been recovered. However, this statement was quickly retracted, with officials claiming the debris was from a crashed weather balloon. This sudden shift in the narrative fueled widespread suspicion that the government was covering up the recovery of an extraterrestrial craft and possibly non-human occupants. Over the years, the Roswell incident has seen fluctuating interest, but it remains a pivotal moment in UFO history. Several witnesses and whistleblowers have since claimed that non-human bodies and advanced technology were recovered, far beyond anything known at the time. Despite official efforts to debunk these claims, most notably a 1994 Air Force report attributing the wreckage to Project Mogul, a top-secret atomic espionage mission, debate about what truly happened at Roswell endures. The incident has inspired countless books, documentaries, and films, embedding itself in popular culture and keeping the question of alien life alive. Whether the Roswell event was a misidentified balloon crash or a genuine encounter with extraterrestrial beings, it symbolizes the enduring fascination and skepticism surrounding UFOs. To this day, it challenges our understanding of the universe and continues to ignite imaginations around the world. Number 13, Aurora, Texas UFO Incident. Long before the Roswell incident captured the public's imagination, the small town of Aurora, Texas, became the site of one of America's earliest recorded UFO occurrences. In April 1897, residents reported encountering an otherworldly craft that supposedly crashed near their community. Local legends, along with a report from the Dallas Morning News, detailed a mysterious airship that allegedly crashed on the property of a local judge, scattering debris and revealing the body of a non-human pilot. According to the tale, the townspeople, bewildered by the unusual materials and the extraterrestrial occupant, 
decided to give the being a proper burial in their local cemetery. Accompanying the incident were claims of a well located at the crash site into which some of the wreckage was reportedly tossed, leading to stories of strange illnesses among later visitors. Skeptics highlight the lack of physical evidence and suggest the narrative may have been fabricated to draw attention to a town facing economic difficulties. However, enthusiasts point to detailed accounts and a grave marker that supposedly depicted a cigar-shaped craft as evidence supporting the story's authenticity. Regardless of its disputed validity, the Aurora incident remains a captivating chapter in UFO history. It reflects humanity's long-standing fascination with the possibility of extraterrestrial life and our collective desire to uncover tangible proof of such encounters. This tale echoes through the years, serving as a testament to our quest for the unknown and the mysteries that continue to beckon us to explore what lies beyond our planet. Number 12, Lubbock Lights. In August 1951, an intriguing enigma illuminated the skies over Lubbock, Texas, becoming one of the most well-documented yet unexplained phenomena in UFO history. Known as the Lubbock Lights, this incident involved a peculiar formation of lights observed by local residents and professors from Texas Tech University, which lent an air of credibility and captured national attention. The phenomenon was first noted by three science professors who reported seeing a semicircle of lights flying at high speeds across the sky. Their academic status offered a stark contrast to the typical dismissals of UFO sightings as mere figments of imagination. Witnesses described the lights as bright bluish green orbs moving in a perfectly coordinated arc through the night. Within days, numerous reports began to flood in, including a remarkable photograph taken by a student named Carl Hart Jr., which showcased the unique formation of lights. The Air Force's Project Blue Book, a systematic investigation into unidentified flying objects, examined the Lubbock lights but concluded that the phenomenon was likely due to a natural event. They suggested that the lights were actually a flock of birds reflecting the illumination from newly installed street lamps. However, this explanation faced skepticism as many witnesses, including the original professors, challenged the notion that birds could create such a precise formation or emit light in the manner observed. The Lubbock Lights case remains a cornerstone of UFO lore, embodying the ongoing tension between official explanations and the testimonies of credible witnesses. It raises persistent questions about what exists beyond the limits of current scientific understanding, serving as a reminder of the vastness of the universe and the myriad mysteries that continue to elude resolution. Number 11, Belgian UFO Wave. The year 1990 marked the onset of an extraordinary wave of UFO sightings across Belgium, now famously known as the Belgian UFO Wave. Over several months, Thousands of individuals reported encounters with large, silent, triangular objects gliding effortlessly at low altitudes. These sightings were substantiated by radar data and corroborated by police and military pilots, making them some of the most thoroughly documented UFO incidents in history. The phenomenon reached its peak on the nights of March 30th and 31st, 1990, when the Belgian Air Force dispatched F-16 fighters to intercept the unidentified objects that had captivated the public's attention. Despite employing advanced tracking technology and rigorous procedures, the pilots were unable to lock onto the UFOs, which demonstrated remarkable agility and speed that far exceeded the capabilities of conventional aircraft. The radar data combined with visual confirmations suggested these objects were solid and capable of rapid acceleration and maneuvers that defied the limits of known human technology. The Belgian UFO wave is notable not only for its scale, but also for the credibility of its witnesses, which included civilians, police officers, and military personnel. The direct involvement of military forces adds an extra layer of intrigue to the events. The Belgian Air Force's willingness to openly discuss these encounters, along with the release of radar data in official reports, provided a rare glimpse into how governments respond to unidentified aerial phenomena. Despite thorough investigations conducted by various entities, the origins of the triangular UFOs observed during this wave remain unexplained, serving as a powerful reminder of the mysteries that still challenge our understanding of reality and our place in the cosmos. Number 10, the mysterious Hestelin Lights. Since 1981, the Hestelin Lights have puzzled locals and scientists in a remote Norwegian valley. 
These mysterious lights appear in various colors, intensities, and patterns, visible both day and night. Witnesses describe them hovering above the ground, darting across the sky at high speeds, or moving unpredictably in ways that defy conventional explanations. The phenomenon drew global scientific interest, leading to the establishment of a permanent observation station in the valley. While some theories suggest the lights result from ionized gas escaping from the Earth's crust, no definitive explanation has been found. What sets the Hestelin lights apart is the scientific community's involvement, giving this phenomenon a credibility lacking in many UFO sightings. Researchers have collected extensive data over the years, but the lights remain an unsolved enigma. Decades later, the Hestelin lights continue to captivate, challenging our understanding of the natural world and hinting at mysteries yet to be uncovered. Number 9. STS-48 Incident In September 1991, the STS-48 mission of the Space Shuttle Discovery became the center of UFO discussions after video footage captured strange flashes of light and fast-moving objects in Earth's orbit. On September 15th, the footage showed a small, bright object traveling through the atmosphere, followed by a sudden flash of light. Moments later, the object abruptly changed direction, almost as if reacting to the flash, departing at an unusual angle. UFO enthusiasts quickly pointed to the footage as evidence of extraterrestrial activity, suggesting that the object's movements and its apparent evasive action indicated intelligent control. However, skeptics and NASA scientists offered alternative explanations, arguing the objects were likely ice particles disturbed by the shuttle's thrusters. NASA's analysis supported this view, attributing the movements to natural causes. Despite NASA's explanation, the footage remains controversial. Proponents of the extraterrestrial theory argue that the sudden sharp changes in the object's trajectory, especially in response to the flash, defy known natural phenomena or human technology. The incident is often cited as one of the most compelling pieces of visual evidence, suggesting the presence of unidentified objects in Earth's atmosphere. The STS-48 incident highlights the ongoing mysteries of space exploration, illustrating the difficulties in distinguishing between natural events and potential extraterrestrial encounters beyond our planet. Number 8. The Kecksburg UFO Incident – The Acorn That Fell From The Sky On December 9, 1965, the small town of Kecksburg, Pennsylvania, was thrust into one of the most enduring UFO mysteries in history. That evening, residents witnessed a blazing fireball streaking across the sky, eventually crashing into a nearby forest. But what followed was even stranger. Eyewitnesses claimed to have found a metallic, acorn-shaped object, partially buried in the ground, covered with symbols that looked eerily like ancient hieroglyphics. The military arrived almost immediately, locking down the area. Witnesses described seeing the object hauled away on a flatbed truck, but officials insisted nothing of significance was discovered. This only fueled speculation. Was it a Soviet satellite, a secret Nazi weapon, or perhaps an alien spacecraft? The mystery deepened as locals reported strange lights in the sky and unexplained electrical disturbances, hinting that something far more extraordinary had happened. This incident wasn't an isolated event. It echoed similar UFO sightings of the 1960s, like the famous Westall encounter in Australia, which also involved multiple witnesses and official dismissals. Decades later in 2005, a lawsuit forced NASA to release documents related to the event, but the documents offered little new information, reinforcing the belief that the truth was being deliberately concealed. Despite numerous investigations, the Kecksburg mystery remains unsolved, becoming a cornerstone of UFO folklore. It has inspired books, documentaries, and even an episode of Unsolved Mysteries. To this day, researchers continue to revisit the case using modern technology to search for answers. The allure of the Kecksburg incident endures, symbolizing humanity's relentless quest to uncover the unknown and understand our place in the universe. Number 7. The Rendlesham Forest Incident Often called Britain's Roswell, the Rendlesham Forest Incident took place in December 1980 near RAF Woodbridge in Suffolk, England. Military personnel witnessed strange lights and, according to some accounts, encountered an unidentified craft. It all began when security staff saw unusual lights descending into the forest, initially believing it was a downed aircraft. 
Upon investigation, they found a glowing metallic object navigating through the trees, emitting a pulsating light with strange markings resembling hieroglyphics. Two nights later, Deputy Base Commander Charles Halt led a team into the forest to follow up on new reports. The team detected elevated radiation levels near the original sighting, and Halt personally witnessed a star-like object zipping through the sky. His memo to the UK Ministry of Defense and an audio recording made during the investigation serve as crucial documentation of the event. Although officials attributed the lights to natural causes like stars or a nearby lighthouse, those present remain convinced of an extraterrestrial origin. To this day, the Rendlesham Forest incident captivates researchers and enthusiasts, standing as one of the most intriguing and debated UFO mysteries in history. Number six, the Pascagoula abduction. The Pascagoula abduction stands as a remarkable and well-documented account of alien interaction. On October 11, 1973, Charles Hickson and Calvin Parker were fishing by a pier on the Pascagoula River in Mississippi when they encountered a strange egg-shaped craft. They claimed three humanoid beings with stiff movements and wrinkled skin emerged from the vessel, captured them, and took them aboard the UFO. Once inside, both men described undergoing an examination involving a mechanical device that scanned their bodies. Despite the terror they felt, they were eventually released unharmed, but deeply shaken. Local authorities took their story seriously, especially after Hickson passed a lie detector test, and both men displayed genuine distress about the incident. The case drew national attention, sparking debates about the credibility of abduction experiences. While skeptics questioned their story, supporters pointed to the consistency in their accounts and the psychological impact as evidence. Over time, Hickson and Parker's lives took different directions. Parker, initially reluctant to speak, eventually opened up in interviews and co-authored books with Hickson. Their story remains a compelling part of UFO lore, continuing to fuel discussions about extraterrestrial life and human encounters with the unknown. Number five, Trent UFO photographs. In the picturesque town of McMinnville, Oregon, a farmer named Paul Trent captured an extraordinary moment on film that would become iconic in UFO history. One serene evening in May 1950, while outside with his wife, Evan, she spotted a shiny, disc-shaped object gliding through the sky. Without hesitation, Paul grabbed his camera and took two photographs that would be extensively analyzed and celebrated within UFO research circles. The images clearly depicted a distinct saucer-like object and were first published in a local newspaper quickly gaining national attention. Both skeptics and believers scrutinized the photos, leading to a wide range of interpretations, from claims of a hoax to assertions of undeniable evidence of extraterrestrial visitation. The Trent couple's credibility bolstered the authenticity of the photographs. They were regarded as honest individuals who had nothing to gain from their revelation and consistently insisted that what they captured was truly unknown. Despite extensive investigations over the years, no definitive evidence has debunked the Trent photos as a hoax. Today, these images stand as some of the most compelling visual evidence of UFOs, captivating both experts and enthusiasts. The clarity and simplicity of the photographs spark endless debate, emphasizing the eternal question of whether we are truly alone in the universe and if someone out there might be watching us. Each examination of the Trent photos continues to inspire curiosity and inquiry into the unexplained reminding us of the mysteries that lie beyond our understanding. Number four, the Westall UFO Encounter, 1966. The Westall UFO Encounter is one of Australia's most famous and well-documented sightings. On April 6, 1966, more than 200 students and teachers in a Melbourne suburb witnessed a bizarre event. They saw a silver or gray saucer-shaped object descend into an open field, hover briefly, and then shoot off at an incredible speed. Five smaller objects appeared to circle the main craft before it disappeared from sight. Authorities quickly arrived, securing the area and blocking further investigation. Despite the large number of witnesses, the Australian government dismissed the event without explanation, leaving many confused and frustrated. Adding to the intrigue, witnesses reported that individuals in suits visited them shortly after, advising them to stay silent and even confiscating a student's photographs of the UFO. The Westall incident has been analyzed by UFO researchers for decades and featured in documentaries, news segments, and even a government inquiry. However, no conclusive answers were ever provided. 
For many, the event symbolizes the complex relationship between governments and unexplained phenomena. The Westall encounter continues to spark fascination, with new theories emerging over the years. It remains not just an unsolved mystery, but a reminder of broader societal questions about truth, transparency, and the unknown, challenging us to rethink what might be hidden in plain sight. Number three, the Zimbabwe school encounter. In September 1994, a remarkable event occurred at the Aerial School in Rua, Zimbabwe. Over 60 children reported witnessing a craft land during their morning recess, with two beings emerging from it. The beings were described as slender, about one meter tall, with large black eyes. According to the children, these entities communicated telepathically, delivering messages about environmental concerns and humanity's future. The consistency of the children's testimonies, despite their young age and lack of motive to lie, makes the encounter extraordinary. Dr. John Mack, a Harvard psychiatrist and expert on alien encounters, interviewed the children and found their stories credible and consistent. This mysterious event continues to intrigue researchers, standing as one of the most compelling cases of potential extraterrestrial contact. Number two, Solway Firth Spaceman. In 1964, what started as a simple family outing transformed into one of the most captivating mysteries in UFO lore. Jim Templeton, a firefighter from Carlisle, England, took a photograph of his daughter on a sunlit day at the Solway Firth. When he developed the film, Templeton was stunned to discover what appeared to be a spaceman standing directly behind her. The figure seemed to be dressed in a spacesuit, creating a striking contrast against the serene rural backdrop. Templeton insisted that no one else was present when he captured the image, a claim supported by Kodak, which confirmed that the photograph was completely unaltered. The striking image quickly garnered global attention, igniting rampant speculation about potential alien visitors to Earth. To add to the intrigue, Templeton reported being approached by two individuals who identified themselves only as number 11 and number 12. They claimed to be government agents and interrogated him about the photograph and its implications. Over the years, numerous theories have emerged to explain the phenomenon, ranging from optical illusions to mistaken identities or elaborate hoaxes. Yet the Solway Firth Spaceman endures as a fascinating and perplexing mystery. It reflects the excitement surrounding space exploration during that era, embodying humanity's natural curiosity about what exists beyond our world. The enduring appeal of this case continues to inspire discussions about the possibility of extraterrestrial life and our collective longing to understand the cosmos. Number one, the Travis Walton abduction, a UFO mystery. The Travis Walton abduction is one of the most famous and controversial UFO cases in history. On November 5th, 1975, Walton, a forestry worker, disappeared for five days in the Apache Sitgreaves National Forest in Arizona. According to Walton, he and his logging crew spotted a hovering saucer-shaped craft. Driven by curiosity, Walton approached it, but a sudden flash of blinding light knocked him unconscious. His terrified co-workers fled, and upon returning with law enforcement, found no trace of Walton. Walton later claimed he was taken aboard the UFO, where he encountered both humanoid beings and more traditional alien figures who performed medical examinations on him before releasing him back to Earth. His story gained credibility through multiple polygraph tests passed by both him and his coworkers. The intense media attention and public fascination surrounding the incident have kept it at the forefront of UFO discussions. Walton's story with its compelling eyewitness accounts and physical evidence inspired the 1993 movie, Fire in the Sky. To this day, debates about the truth behind his experience continue to captivate believers and skeptics alike. Do you think aliens exist? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time.